This is the normal avocado. You can see the difference of the texture and color. One is soft and the other one is rough. You can buy nopales already prepared with onion, coliander, or natural with spines. You can buy cabbage flour and all the different vegetables you need. Now we'll clean our chiles and avocado. This is chile de árbol, three chili, and this is butter avocado. Here we have the coliander, also named cilantro. Here we're going to clean our epazote. Epazote is a Mexican herb that will give us a lot of flavor. Here we have an onion. Now we'll clean our cabbage flour. We'll take out the steam from the flour because it contains some spines. We're packing everything about Del Taco. Right now I'm gonna show you how to make a real Mexican recipe. We're gonna use some ingredients that you saw me buying in the classical Mexican market. We had some tortillas, handmade tortillas, uh, corn flour. We have some flacoyos made with beans or with skin of pork. We have some nopales. We have some cabbage flour. We have some epazote and some coliander. We have onion, avocado. This avocado that we bought is called butter avocado because it's softer. And we have some chili, three chilies. So we're gonna start chopping them. Now we cut the onion in half. And finally, in chunks. We cut the coliander in fine pieces. We cut the cheese in very fine small slices. We'll cut the cabbage flour in half and we're gonna fry it with onion, epazote and cheese. Now we have our pan already hot. Now we're gonna make some lacoyo with beans and use the same oil. It has to be really, really hot. We took them out from the pan. They're already cooked. And we're gonna put a little bit of avocado. This avocado, you can eat it with skin because it's really soft. It's called butter avocado. We're gonna put some coliander. We're gonna use the coliander as a decorative look and, and flavor. We're gonna grab a little bit of cheese. I'm using here some Monterey cheese. After that, I have here two kinds of chilies. I have the jalapenos, the classical jalapenos with vinegar, and I have here the chipotle. It's called chipotle because it's uh, tan with adobo. And finally, we're gonna use some of the coliander and onions and chilies that we chopped before. And there we go, we have our Tlacoyos and gorditas. So we put the onion, the pasote and the chili. We're gonna cook it with a little bit of oil and we're gonna leave it for three minutes. The pasote gives a, a really peculiar scent. Cabbage flour, we're gonna put it here. Mm, the flavor is delicious. Salt, some pepper, chicken broth powder. We keep on moving this. So this looks already cooked. I'm gonna put it in our plate here. So here we have our nopales put a little bit of chicken broth powder. So now we have the two ingredients and we're gonna warm some tortillas. We have our pan already warm. And here we have some salsa that we already prepared. You know, the tomato, the green tomato salsa. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That herb, the apazote, it does really gives a, a, a really special flavor. And the cabbage flour, mm. 
Hmm. It has a texture like the spinach. It is really good, guys. So these nopales were boiled in water and then they were cooked with coriander, onion, some salt. Hey, that was a simple recipe, wasn't it? Five minutes it took us for cooking it. The ingredients, the tortillas, the handmade tortillas, tlacoyos, gorditas, some cabbage flour, some epazote, and some nopales. That was all the ingredients that we used for making this simple recipe. And I hope you still watch us for the next episode of Everything About Del Tan.